بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میں اسلام علیکم لیڈیز اینڈ جنرلمن ٹوڈے وی آر بیک ود کارپریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی آر پروسیڈنگ ود آر جرنی اینڈ دا جرنی از بیسکلی ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دی امپلیکیشنز آف دا پریس ان ریلیشن ٹو دا ڈفرنٹ اسٹیک ہولڈرز اینڈ دا ڈفرنٹ شیئر ہولڈرز وٹ وی بین سینگ ان دا پاسٹ از دا دا پریس ہیز اے ویری فنڈامنٹل رول بیکاز اٹ بیسکلی ایکٹس ایز این ایکسٹرنل اکاؤنٹیبلٹی انسٹیٹیوشن or as an external whistleblower. Uh, it provides uh, indirect and implied protection to uh, the internal whistleblowers and also to the internal uh, employees. And it tends to project uh, those uh, issues and those items which are push, pushed under the carpet and are not being addressed by the management or by the board of directors. And then uh, the press does investigative journalism and then tries to understand uh, what is happening and how all of that uh, is particularly happening. And then what we see is, is that the uh, press basically acts as a bridge between the government, the regulators uh, and uh, the, the, the board of directors and uh, the management and the employees. Uh, and also in between tends to encapsulate uh, the different uh, shareholders. Now, uh, what we see is that in this whole process, uh, there are uh, different uh, possibilities and different opportunities uh, and some are positive and some are negative. And another uh, very important dimension is, is that uh, when the press becomes uh, selective or when the press becomes discriminatory or biased, then ladies and gentlemen, we talk about uh, a very important issue uh, which is called selective coverage. Now, selective coverage is the topic of today and we are going to see how this tends to reinforce or undermine a particular organization and its board of directors and management uh, because this is what is being seen that with the uh, advent Uh, and the further nurturing of the uh, different media, uh, their role is expanding and, ex uh, and increasing with every passing day. Now, when we are looking at selective coverage, ladies and gentlemen, then the critical issue in media coverage is the credibility of the information. So, again, there is a lot of news and there is real news and there is fake news. So, that distinction has to be done that which is the real news and which is the fake news and media should be avoiding the fake news. But unfortunately now, fake news is more than the real news. And to authenticate all of that and then to understand its various implications uh, is a very colossal uh, endeavoring altogether. The issue of credibility is particularly delicate because it opens up the question of newspapers, incentives to conduct further investigation. So again, the whole issue of credibility or reputation is at the forefront of media coverage. And again, enables the organization to move forward uh, through investigative journalism or uh, tend to backtrack. And then it is very important that whatever information which is being shared on any of the, uh, on any of the media uh, uh, coverages, it has to be authenticated by some uh, genuine source. And uh, the media is responsible to ensure that it is able to extricate the real factual information. Newspapers do have an incentive to enter into side deals with the parties involved and uh, be paid for not to reveal damaging information. So this is also done that sometimes newspapers tend to blackmail institutions and they extricate uh, money uh, for not publishing a particular information or a particular post. That's to increase or withhold future advertising revenues in exchange for stories that reflect well or badly on company management. So this is another thing. This is a tool which is in the hand uh, of the management. And because a lot of money uh, is usually spent uh, on advertising, then through advertising, uh, the management can channelize uh, its revenue to those uh, media platforms uh, which are uh, more conducively and positively inclined to the organization. And this itself tends to create a whole process of manipulation and exploitation, uh, which should be avoided at all costs. So again, it could be increasing or withholding. Uh, advertising revenues and it could be based upon uh, reflecting well or badly on the company management and therefore this bias, discrimination, favoritism and, and if we stretch it corruption uh, is very detrimental to the whole relationship of the press uh, with uh, the other stakeholders and again tends to undermine the press as a whole and can have many uh, repercussions at the end of the day and that is what we basically are trying to Uh, understand. One equilibrium is where the newspapers have credibility and thus avoid side deals for fear of losing it. So, good reputation newspapers like 
فار ایگزامپل ان پاکستان وی ہیو ڈان ٹین ٹو اپ ہولڈ دی رائٹ نیوز اینڈ ناٹ گو ان ٹو فیک نیوز بیکاز دے ہیو اے ہائی لیول آف کریڈیبلٹی اینڈ دے ڈونٹ وانٹ ٹو لوز اٹ ان ادر از ویئر دا نیوز پیپرز ڈو ناٹ ہیو کریڈیبلٹی اینڈ ہیپلی ایکسپٹ رائبس ناٹ ٹو پبلش ڈیمیجنگ سو دی اسمالر نیوز پیپرز ایز وی سی دی ایوننگ نیوز پیپرز دیٹ وی ہیو اوور ہیئر ان پاکستان دے ٹین ٹو ہیو سینسیشنزم فوکس نیوز اینڈ دیر آر ایون سم نیشنل نیوز پیپرز انفارچونیٹلی ہو بیسکلی آر اسپریڈنگ ڈفرینٹ انفارمیشن بیسڈ اپان سینسیشنزم اینڈ بیسڈ اپان دیٹ سینسیشنزم دے ٹین ٹو بلیک میل ڈفرینٹ انسٹیٹیوشن اینڈ انڈیویجولس وچ از ایبسولوٹلی اے بورنٹ اینڈ ہیز ٹو بی کرٹیلڈ فرام دا ویری گراس روٹ لیول بیکاز ادر وائز دی پریس ایز دی فورتھ پلر آف اسٹیٹ وڈ بی کمپرومائزڈ اینڈ دیٹ وڈ ہیو مینی نیگیٹو ریپلیکیشنز بیکاز دین دی ایلیٹ وڈ فردر ایکسپلائڈ اینڈ موو فارورڈ ان وٹ ایور دے آر ڈوئنگ دا فیکٹرز وچ ڈٹرمن وچ ایکولیکرم پرویلس آر دی کمپیٹیو انوائرمنٹ ان وچ دی نیوز پیپرز آپریٹ دی اونرشپ اسٹرکچر آف دا میڈیا اینڈ لائبل لاز سو وی سی دیٹ دیز تھری پوائنٹس آر ویری ویری امپورٹنٹ اینڈ وین وی ٹاک اباؤٹ لائبل لاز دین ان پاکستان وی وی ڈونٹ ہیو دا ٹاٹ لا بینگ پریکٹس ایز پر سے بٹ ناؤ ود دی پیسج آف ٹائم اینڈ دا گلوبلائزیشن ایون دا لا آف ٹاٹ اور دا لا آف ڈیمیجز از بینگ پریکٹس ان پاکستان وی آلسو ہیو انڈر دا پاکستان پینل کوڈ سیکشن فور نائن نائن ٹو فائیو زیرو ون وچ بیسکلی ڈیلس ود لائبل ایشوز اینڈ دین بسائڈ دیٹ اے پرسن کین آلسو انسٹیٹیوٹ اے کیس آف ڈیمیجز اگینسٹ دا پریس اور اگینسٹ دا رپورٹر اور اگینسٹ اینی ون ہو از ڈیمیجنگ اینڈ برنگنگ ٹو ڈسٹریبیوٹ اینڈ انڈیویجولس اور اے آرگنائزیشنل کریڈیبلٹی اور ریپوٹیشن سو دیر آر لائبل لاز دیر از میڈیا اسٹرکچر دیٹ اگین دے آر بینگ ریگولیٹڈ بائی دیر اون ایسوسیشن لائک دی آل پاکستان آل پاکستان نیوز پیپر سوسائٹی لائک دی کاؤنسل فار پاکستان نیوز پیپر ایڈیٹرز دین دے کوڈ بی گورمنٹ ریگولیٹڈ باڈیز وچ بیسکلی آر دا سینسرشپ بورڈز وچ آر پیمرا وچ اگین از اباؤٹ الیکٹرانک میڈیا اینڈ دی منسٹری آف انفارمیشن اینڈ دا رول آف دی ڈائریکٹ جنرل آف پبلک ریلیشنز آل آف دیم ٹین ٹو اینشور دیٹ اے پازیٹیو اکویلیبریم is maintained and the credibility of the whole sector is not compromised. Uh, we further see uh, that demand considerations also lead to a selective focus on stories with a wider interest such as executive compensation levels. Readers may not be able to appreciate the nuances of corporate situations leading to new stories that simplify firm performance. So again, uh, this sensationalism, uh, this storytelling can have positive results or negative results and therefore uh, it is very, very important uh, for the betterment of the whole media sector and also uh, the sanctity of the uh, reporting organization uh, that everything is factual and uh, they should not be moving on to sensationalism just to uh, get uh, a quick buck or to get uh, millions of reviews in a very short time when that is uh, again uh, very sad that such things uh, are being practiced and people are being exploited uh, out of all of this. So this is extremely important. Uh, the demand for corporate governance uh, news might depend uh, on the structure of the corporate ownership and the media selectively reduces the cost of acquiring and verifying information. So again, what we are seeing is, is that uh, through the media, uh, the acquisition of information and, and verifying it has gone down because everything is now digital and electronic. And then secondly, what we see is, is that uh, the structure of the corporate ownership also depends upon that. And Uh, their interface with the management and the rest of the employees and the shareholders uh, is dependent upon uh, what the media is basically uh, projecting. Uh, this information is crucial in shaping the reputation of the key players who determine corporate policy. Uh, only concerns about the public image would explain the responsiveness of corporate directors to environmental issues. So nowadays what we see, ladies and gentlemen, is, is that environment uh, is a major issue and damaging the environment is actually, is actually encapsulated as corruption and therefore Uh, there is a great need to control all of the environmental uh, factors and also the environmental fallout within the organizations. And uh, basically, we see that the media plays a very critical role over here because if they tend to find out through videos, through pictures, uh, through uh, interface or through disclosure, then all of that becomes public and that can have uh, immense consequences uh, for any organization. Uh, the more diffuse the press is in a country, the more companies are responsive both to environmental issues and to minority sh shareholder concerns. So again, uh, what we see is that uh, if the press is widespread uh, and is well entrenched and is basically diffused, 
then as a consequent what we see is is that the uh, corporate uh, response towards environmental issues and minority sh shareholder concerns tends to increase and then vice versa uh, if it tends to decrease then all of it tends to slide down so therefore keeping a balance and harmony uh, in all of this is extremely important and when we are talking about uh, selective press then we should ensure that it should be more tinged towards the positive side rather than the negative side and no one uh, should be damaged or uh, lose credibility or reputation just based upon uh, hearsay and there has to be authentication of all the information uh, which is coming in and the press has to decide to move towards uh, what is the truth and uh, how it is being represented in the best best possible way uh, without compromising uh, any of the stakeholders or the shareholders. Thank you so much.